Hi, I'm Patrick Hernandez. I'm Regional Communications Manager for General Motors here in Atlanta today, showcasing a great technology, Apple CarPlay, and a beautiful GMC Yukon XL. So the great thing about Apple CarPlay is it's really giving you an opportunity to connect with your smartphone to be able to really have a convenient focus on one, keeping your eyes on the road, hands on the wheel, but being able to see your favorite apps and enjoy some of the favorite features that you have on a smartphone. So today we're focusing on Apple CarPlay. I have an Apple iPhone 6 here. Currently we have to plug in your phone, actually allow for some permissions on your phone, and you'll see right here we have an app that just switched over to Apple CarPlay. It's that simple. And as soon as you're connected, you'll see that you have some of your familiar apps just right here on the screen. Now, of course, at a, at a parking position, you can start scrolling over. Um, I only have a few of the apps that are, have been customized by Apple in conjunction with General Motors engineers to be able to be featured specially on this, uh, this screen. Uh, we have just a basic phone, regular music, messages, which are our text, Pandora, audiobooks, now playing maps, of course. And then we have some of the third-party apps that are starting to be developed and integrated, like Spotify, which is something that I use quite often. So um, going to my Spotify playlist, just clicking my music, we can start playing something that before wasn't so easily integrated into the infotainment system in our vehicles. So just pushing shuffle play, and actually crank up the music a little bit here. We see that I now have easy access to my Spotify playlist. Now, if you look and see, you see some of the same symbols that you have in your iPhone. A lot of these things can be done actually by voice as well. Siri will then kind of help you. Again, this is all in your parking. Navigate me to Georgia Tech. Giving directions to Georgia Institute of Technology. So now you can directly access Google, uh, Apple Maps as well as Siri functionality without having to uh, use a different navigation system. Now, all these options via Siri are actually available uh, through the voice recognition button that's right on your steering wheel as well. So if we hold down this button for three seconds, Siri will pop up and ask you what you need help with. Who, me? I didn't ask her anything, but you can you get the idea. Uh, so it gives another opportunity, another option for convenience. And a lot of our consumers, actually a majority of, of drivers now, are using more their phones more and more to do a lot of Who different functions. Like and so we'll, we wanted to provide them options. JD now, Eggleston. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are just an option, even in infotainment. You can go back to the home button. You can see a lot of the same options that you've seen before if you're going to sync via Bluetooth or make a phone call. You don't have to use Apple CarPlay. But we're seeing a lot of customers really enjoy that similar interface as their smartphone on their screen and of course available now through voice recognition, something that we've really worked with Apple and of course with Android to develop.